plants and animals have red blood and will bleed whenever parts of the body are hurt. But have you heard of the tree that bleeds? To be precise, we are talking about a species of tree that can bleed red blood-like substances. This species of tree is known as Dracaena cinnabari. Dracaena cinnabari, the Socotra dragon tree or dragon blood tree, is a dragon tree native to the Socotra archipelago, part of Yemen, located in the Arabian Sea. It is so-called due to the red sap that the trees produce. The dragon blood tree has a unique and strange appearance, with an upturned, densely packed crown having the shape of an uprightly held umbrella. This evergreen species is named after its dark red resin, which is known as dragon's blood. According to legend, the first dragon blood tree was created from the blood of a dragon that was wounded when it fought an elephant. Like the unfortunate dragon, the tree secretes its resin when it's injured. In ancient times, the resin was believed to have magical and medicinal properties. People used it as a pigment for art, a dye, and a medicine. Dragon's blood is still used for these purposes today. The resin from the Socotra dragon tree may be safe in small quantities. It's been used medicinally for a long time, apparently without harmful effects. Researchers have also found that the resin can relax rat muscle. These factors may or may not be beneficial in humans. It's important that consumers identify the source of any dragon's blood that they buy. A big problem is that the resin comes from several different plants and therefore has a varying chemical composition. Certain resins may be more dangerous than others. Hope you enjoy this video and please. See, it's still, it's still drinking. That's coming from up there. Yeah. Heck yeah, look at it. Looks like blood though, doesn't it? It does uh -huh. look like blood. Bleeding tree. I wonder where it got all that water. I'm showing every single student that I ever have for the rest of my life yeah, you this video. You gotta put that on YouTube. No I will. I gotta send this to Steve. Holy shit. Almost makes you want to coke. I dare you to taste it, Darren. Hey, what's this feel like? It's just like water. Wow. Holy shit. Almost makes you want to coke. I dare you to taste it, Darren. Hey, what's this feel like? It's just like water. Go figure, huh?
Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, that little post spot. Right yeah, there. that's what I thought so. Cause... But Dave, I had two side of Here we have blood pumping out of a tree after I cut it because it was on the fence. I do not understand why this tree has apparently blood pumping out of it. When I cut this bit, it has the same effect. Maybe this is what they mean by a bloodwood tree. Uh -huh. I thought I'd cut a lizard in half when it first happened but the tree itself is still pumping I didn't know pumping but the tree itself is still pumping I didn't know trees had blood in them. Anyway, I'm going to pause this and see what happens when I cut the next bit off. Okay, well, strange as it may seem, this bit is still pumping. Yeah, don't understand it. Okay, here we go. And there you go. I asked the creator to not bust my fences, or my roofs, or my water storage, or my power storage. As soon as I take the tree off it, the fence stands straight back up. What's the point in having a God theory if it doesn't work in real time? And now, the blood stains over here. There's against there. Well, 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 well. Strangest thing I've ever seen while playing with my chainsaw. The tree that was bleeding. <laughs>